Studios, where you have an office would be see around the neck area. To These two retired Vegas cops now podcast hosts. No, they don't have ID. They can't get into a hotel room. To, to get them the help they need, especially if someone even gets arrested. A lot of people don't know how the justice system works. guys have going on is necessary, it's needed. <laughs> hey, welcome. It is David Colmeyer, the Problem Solver. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. Every Thursday at 4.30 we go live, and we are here to talk about some local issues, issues throughout the world, talk about uh, current events and so on today. I uh, have uh, a guest that has been here before, back, alive and well, <laughs> Nephi, with Sex. Vegas CCW. <laughs> and right. uh, thanks so much for joining us again, Nephi. You're welcome. Happy to be here. Nephi, his, his, his excellence is here to give us his wisdom. Um, we had a good Yay. show last time that he was here, so we brought him back just to uh, get an update, see what's going on, and then ask him some, some good questions about what we think is going on in the world today. Then we have, as usual, Danny Miner, the miracle here today, as usual. Thank you. I know we have our topics set, right? But every time John T is here, you know what the topic goes to. So you know what's going to happen. Sex, baby. Yes. <laughs> so you know what's going to happen. This is a G-rated <laughs> show this week. Oh, this is, is it? This is oh. crime, not, crime, then sex, crime, then John sex. John T, could what? you be G-rated or no? Uh, what do you mean? You I, don't, I don't curse. I don't even You talk. don't curse. That's true. No. She I, just, like I just exude the sex. When I, <laughs> you guys. When I look at you, I think profanity. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, see, you guys just, talk, you, you, you're the one that talks about sex when, when I'm here. I'm not the one that is, you know, <clears> mentions you, it when first. You, when there's no women here, Danny's never talking about sex. He doesn't talk about sex with me. I uh, sure hope not. Right. Right. So, uh. Um, he tried to talk to sex about a lie. I told him no. So, oh, <laughs> we try to save he, that he for the late. once or twice. We try to save that for after 2 a.m., those late night calls. Yes. Every, the booty calls. No, yeah. I, I get them too. We FaceTime. We from, FaceTime. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, again, Danny, the miracle, also. The crime solver. The crime solver, which I was going to say, <laughs> this, is, this is new in the crime solver. I'm the problem solver. He's the crime solver. And then uh, we have John T., who is the expert in many things. Thanks so much for <laughs> being the co-host today as well. Absolutely. You know what? Do you remember when we were growing up, Dr. Ruth? Do you remember her? Absolutely. She had a, Dr. 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 Yes. I love yes. That's Dr. her Dr. new name. That's what her nickname's going to be. I love Dr. Ruth. Yes. Yeah, I Do you remember her? her all the time. She doesn't yep. really inspire sexuality. <laughs> right. No, no, no. She right? No. Yeah. <laughs> I can take it to a different level. Yes. So, <laughs> so, so is it John, like Dr. John T, we should call you? Yeah, Dr. Yes. G. The yes, Dr. Ooh. G. Dr. G. Dr. G. Yes, mm. let's G talk. spot. G Dr. Spot. G, the reality of love. <laughs> That's I love one of it. my show. Is it? Yeah, I have a podcast called the G, uh, the G Spot with Jean T. Dr. G. Yeah, Dr. G. The reality of love. Can oh, you watch it one handed? The reality of love is my other, uh, is another show. I swear it's, that. Yeah. It's popped yeah. up before. Oh, okay. So Dr. G, the reality of love is here. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Anyway, so um, I want a few different topics. So, uh, so the last time... So just to give a little bit of update for any of our listeners, so Nephi has, uh, does a lot of CCWs. The last time I was with him, he did a, a class for veterans, which I thought was awesome. Um, actually, John T., Dr. G was there. Okay, and yes. uh, <laughs> we actually showed up. There was a lot of people that were there, a lot of veterans. They were very, very happy. And at the time, and maybe you know, some people that are listeners don't know, your license was suspended at the time, what was when we went there? Mm. Um, you had another instructor which which gave the class, but normally you give the class. Mm -hmm. What was the reason why? Just to recap, that your license was suspended. So when I did the big controversial, uh, you know, guns in the library event, April tenth uh, of earlier this year, I told some jokes that got uh, some liberals upset and uh, got the sheriff upset because it, you know, basically Ooh. blew up in his face. So he abused his authority and suspended me uh, from being Metro certified to teach. Are you able to retell those jokes? Oh, yeah. I don't know what they are. You know, oh, Danny, Danny she Danny's really Asian. opened them wide. I, I could, yeah. A couple are of you, Asian jokes. Are you okay with there. that? Oh, perfect. It, I love Asian jokes. So it's, it's pretty bad. I'm warning you. That's okay. So the, <laughs> the reason I got in trouble. Now, to set this up correctly, okay. in self defense, you have something called bare fear and imminent threat. Mm -hmm. And most people don't realize it, but how they determine whether something's a threat or not is they use their stereotypes. 
And this is not a reliable means of identifying a legitimate threat. Right. Opportunity and ability is, but most people have to be trained to do that. So to illustrate that, I said we can either talk about some uh, moms and families that have been murdered, you know, by criminals, or we could tell some jokes, and they chose jokes. Mm -hmm. So everybody thinks the rules are different for them. They really do. So whenever I tell, well, get, when you get pulled over, do this. And then they go, well, what about our group? Or what about our group? And mm -hmm. I was like, fine, I'm going to write a joke for everybody's group. Okay, perfect. So uh, <laughs> gun safety for white people, right? Make sure that you always iron your wife beater before coming to the range <laughs> and always leave your, your Karen at home. Uh, Hispanics, make sure you enter through the front entrance. I guess they don't want you climbing a fence. <laughs> And always put your kids back in their cages after they visit the range. Oh, my God. Asians always use toothpicks to prop your eyes open when shooting. <laughs> I do. And never aim a firearm <laughs> at a pet you're not willing to eat. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Middle Eastern people uh, always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to detonate. <laughs> and always be sure of your target before flying into it. And the ones that they got really upset about were the ones that referred to black Americans. And that was, you know, always make sure that you lick the chicken grease off your fingers before shooting. And always make sure there's a white person around to blame for everything that goes wrong in your life. That's good. So, yeah, the audience loved it. But we have a mixed crowd, just like we have a mixed crowd. Oh, in they're here. not laughing. Oh, they probably heard it already. That's why. Oh, can you add the laugh tracks in? <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, it was interesting. Last time, uh, Jean -T, Dr. G, uh, yeah. last time. Uh, see, Dr. G, Danny, pick one. Dr. G, I like Dr. G, right? <laughs> I um, like Dr. G. Yeah. So we're, we're making people certify like yes. medical, right? <laughs> um, Everybody got a nickname. So Danny was was very upset last time, you know, for a few different th topics. But I actually felt, you know, it's different in my opinion. If you were a white guy, you know, born in America, then I think it's interesting that people would say you're a racist. But you know, you're a Middle Eastern background, and you're saying jokes even about your own background. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's like it's different. You left out your own background, and you're making you know making jokes, and you're making the class kind of comical and funny. Some people may not like that, and I know there was. Then some, don't take my friggin' class, right. especially if the class is free. You know, it's like you could walk out. Well, that wasn't there. a free class. Well, that one was free. The one for veterans was free. Yeah. It was free. So everyone else I actually, can pay. Wh whether right or wrong, it's his class, and and different yeah. instructors teach differently. Yeah. And the truth is, you don't want people sleeping, and so he's trying to make it funny in general. And I'm Honestly, the veterans, even though that you were there and mm -hmm. you being yourself, and maybe those jokes didn't come out that one for the veterans. I mean, I think people really enjoyed, you know, you conversing with them and talking with them in general. And I wanted to go there specifically just to see how the crowd was, yeah. you know, and everyone was very, very positive. I spoke for a few minutes. Just I, I mentioned about the problem solver show and actually uh, one thing that Nephi did, which, you know, I didn't pay him for, but out of the goodness of his heart, I asked him if we could have some realtors. Mm -hmm. um, there was about 40 realtors in the class that were yeah. free. People normally have to pay 129 bucks, right? Or something 114. Like that. Yeah. 114 right. to be in the class. He led 40 realtors to be safe because it was a, almost a sexual assault that took place in the community with a realtor mm -hmm. at one of the new homes. Yeah. So uh, he did a huge favor. You know, there was no money to exchange hands. I asked him, I thought it was a problem and he helped out. So, but I, I, th I think it's interesting, like I said, people don't have to take the class. So how did you, so, I, so, you so to bring your question is that, how did that get me suspended? Exactly. Right? That's it, crazy. That's a beautiful question because it should have never happened. Yeah. Uh, free speech for one. Absolutely. Uh, you can teach more than the required curriculum, but not less than. Mm -hmm. So, and it was longer than we had. So now we've added uh, an opening act. Mm -hmm. So the first hour is literally whatever the hell we want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then nobody can say anything about it. But we, we're going on our fifth mass CCW event and, you know, really, if it didn't work, I wouldn't do it. Right. You know, if people didn't want the big class, they didn't want the entertainment or, right. or and it's not that I'm not insightful about what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the jokes and the deliveries are all to tie in the curriculum and yeah. keep it flowing. Um, and I, I do very well at that. Um, but people, they want it clearly because yeah. I keep getting in trouble and then boom, my next big <laughs> class sells out. Get in trouble, boom, next big class sells out. Um, so you haven't. If curbed, it didn't work, I'd stop. Right. So you haven't curbed your uh, humor. Oh, hell no. I got uh, gun okay. safety for transgenders is coming next. Oh, great. Um, and uh, gun safety <laughs> for women in, in the class. military. Okay, that's good. <laughs> By the way, it's I, endless. It's an endless <laughs> franchise. Can we sign up Danny for that class now? Danny, Danny's going through it. Oh. I didn't go through it. I would like I don't to know if I could tell those jokes here. It's a pretty. Well, I know he's on estrogen. Pretty raunchy. 
Uh, maybe he needs to be in the class. Uh, there is but, more estrogen in food now, though. <laughs> <like> so, <laughs> so Lombardo <laughs> suspended me for that. How long was your suspension? 191 days. Oh, wow. And we're suing Metro. Um, oh, wait a second. I didn't know it was a specific amount of days. Mm. Well, it wasn't his choice. It was forever for him. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. Oh, you but were suspended. The, but So all the other sheriffs that make up the Sheriffs and Chiefs Association who manages CCW programs, they got together and overrode his decision to suspend me and forced Metro to reinstate me. Mm. Good. So now the yeah. lawsuit comes and uh, I get paid. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> But there's a lot of things that are, um, look, the same thing why we do it at the library is like, yeah. okay, we're offended by people having story time and transgenders, you know, reading to children and sexualizing them uh, early, right. like five, six, you know, that, 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 I'm offended by that. Yeah. And I don't even have kids. To say, okay, I'm supposed to just stuff that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're offended by the fact that I own guns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine, I'm going to bring a gun thing to the library and you're going to stuff it the way I stuff your transgenders reading to kids program mm. um, because it's not fair. Yeah, it just isn't. It's, it's wrong. It's, it's our library too. Right. everybody's. Well, so wait, Lombardo is governor now, right? Uh, sorry. <laughs> He's got to be do better. You said that to yeah, me. but do you think this is going to pose more of a problem for you if you continue? No, I think he he understands. Uh, I hit back. Okay. So, um, or you fight back. Yes. Yeah. That's good. In a big way. Um, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to leave him alone. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I tried, he knows yeah. I tried like hell to take him out. I would have rather had Sisolak. Really? Than, absolutely. Oh God. Absolutely. Not me. Tell me mandates tell me. shutting a strip down. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think that a Democrat tyrant is bad, what do you get a taste of a Republican one? Mm, well, well, tell me, so what we'll do you... Th what we'll do you see what happens. I, I, just to talk a little bit of politics, and, and I know he likes politics, but... What's politics your, fires me up. You don't want that. So what you take, <laughs> like, what Sisolak did... Oh, well, if you want to bring it up, too. So what do you think that Sisolak did Well, wrong? we're trying to get a reality show to cancel me if I tell what I really feel. No, I mean, I think it's okay. <laughs> I, we like People the, like they, that. They want, they want the authentic being stuff. real. You can't be what's canceled your, unless you allow yourself to be canceled. Yeah. What's, what's your personal opinion of what he did? I'd be, just be I did what? Just in general. Like, how do you feel about... You can have an opinion of what... The he mask did. mandates? Yeah, yeah. He didn't think it, he handled them correctly. Li right? Listen, it, they just did a study. The masks work 12%. The masks don't work. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Yeah. Le and I'll be real controversial. I don't believe the vaccine works. No. I don't believe the vaccine worked at shit. If it you still anybody. get it, it doesn't work. It works. It, it, <laughs> no, the vaccine works to kill you. Yes. In three to five years, people will start dropping dead. And I've told these people before they got vaccinated, you need to re rethink this whole thing. They drain their clocks. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. From the back end. Everyone is getting sick right now. The, the people that I know that have been vaccinated ha is getting sick. They're calling me. They're actually telling me these things. I'm like, wow. Well, you're not going to hear that on the news. I'm Somehow unvaxxed and feeling great. Yes. And I don't know if you've seen the news lately. They're pushing this again. Of course. They're pushing the mask. They're pushing everything. Listen, we've been through this for two years. It don't work. Right. Stop it. And what's his it's face? It's ridiculous. But, I'm not wearing a mask. But what's his no, face? I'll go to jail before I put a mask on again. But I'm what, telling you, I will. I'm done. But do you think I'm the governor you. at the time was just following, right? Yes, I mean, he's following he California. He's following, yeah. I mean, he's a follower. So, he's not a leader. A, Newsom and Cali he ruined California. California is a mess. It's a total mess. Nobody even wants to go there. Absolutely. It's, my, my daughter lives there. She can't even walk the beach. Homeless people all over. Mm -hmm. it's, it's ridiculous. Drugs everywhere. It's a mess. But yet people continue to vote for these people. Yeah. It's shocking. Sorry. Who I told you to get still me voting for It's them. a great place if you're a homeless person. It, oh, yeah, because you get away with anything. Oh, my beach God. That's amazing. Yes. So question for you. So with Lombardo being um, governor, governor, how do you feel that he will be, especially if there's an uptick in you know, the virus or people getting sick. Um, I've never he... had any confidence that what he said he was and who he said he was as a, as a Republican was ever anything more than just lip service. Mm. So I would expect that we're going to find some behaviors that uh, don't really, you know, smell like a Republican. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a d deviation from that on gun issues. Um, I think it's pretty safe at this point, you know, Nobody's really going to put up with the the mask crap uh, anymore, anymore either. I think that's played out. But. Qu question for you: You mentioned this a while ago to me that you thought that, Lomb and I don't really know. I don't really watch the politics. That, that Lombardo's against people getting CCWs. Tell me why. Because he's attacked me three times for doing it. Okay. But 
is that well what are the reason you think the okay the, the first that, time it okay. happened we didn't have any beef he was supposed to come smoke at my hookah lounge uh, like a month before we got in a colossal hatfield versus mccoy mm -hmm. feud he nullified all a thousand students the first time I did it, I had a thousand students in one time mm. and uh, he nullified them. He sent somebody in to set us up, you know, who snuck in. And then they said, well, since he snuck in and got in two hours after the start time, uh, uh, class wasn't taught correctly. Oh. Yet this time uh, he suspended me for telling the jokes, but he let everybody's paperwork go through because right, they're voters. Right. Mm. Um, a Republican would never interfere with a second um, exercise of the Second Amendment. I Not agree. ever. I agree. And to come after me three times hard? Mm -hmm. oh, no, it shows your true colors and how you really feel well, about it. What I think about politics and politi politicians is that they promise and they say whatever they need to say. You mean they're say. liars? Well, all of them. You know, they say what they need to say to get elected. That's right. what I feel, right? He now, definitely did that. Well, we, but then they have to prove themselves later. But, in, you know, by then, then we know Too for late, sure right? after, after the fact. I, I don't think the, the administration that's in office right now, I don't think they've told the truth yet mm -hmm. on any issue. Mm -hmm. And it's shocking that these Democrats still believe everything they say. They believe it all. They still believe goofy Dr. Fauci, well, who should be in jail. The man should be in jail. They're what called, he did? They're called sheeple. Yes. A lot yeah. of them. There's so many of them. They um, want their free, free money. That's yep. just the way it is. Yes. Yeah. It's, and, it's ridiculous. And it's dangled in front of their face, too. Okay, if you don't do this, then you're not going to get this. Right? Yeah. So and if, if you don't do this, then you're not going to keep your job. So what are people left to do is to, you know, and people aren't that strong sometimes, especially when it has to do with money. Uh, you know what? And, and think of this. The administration, they got everybody to vote for them for this, Right. We're going to get rid of student debt, which they know they couldn't do it. OK, they did they it just to get the votes. They did it to get votes and they did it right before election this time, too. Uh. And these people fall for it. it. Drives me insane. Listen, they're lying to you. Wake the hell uh, up, please. Everybody. And then they blame the Republicans for. <laughs> yes. Well, we oh were going to do God. it, but the Republicans blocked it. They didn't they didn't legalize marijuana either. Right. The Democrats are going to do that. They didn't legalize that federally. Everything they said they were going to do, they did absolutely zero in two years. Zero. They did nothing that they said they were going to do. And these people will vote for them again. It drives me insane. Did you see Pennsylvania? Nope. They voted for a guy that can't even talk. Oh. He's elected. He can't even talk. They voted for a dead guy. They put a dead guy in office. Well, that sounds like a, a president. You wanted me crazy today. That you sounds, got me crazy. That sounds like, like a presidency now. Yes. Kind of, what, so. what did you guys put in this drink? I don't know, man. It <laughs> just, Steve, I, ever, I hate Steve, lies. We put a little America in his drink. That's Listen, fun. America, <laughs> his, I hate lies. And here. the Democratic Party continues to lie, and people listen to them. And right. it drives me insane that they listen to the damn lies. It's lies. It's all lies 24 7. Lies. But as a leader. God. But here's the thing, though, Danny, I mean, as, as a leader, a world leader, all around the, the world and since the be beginning of time, that's what you hope for. You want to say the, the things that you need to say and you need to keep the population suppressed. That's just part of being keep them a leader. Yeah, keep them right, stupid and so suppressed. So, jumping, jumping a little bit. So, <laughs> Um, what's your take? It's funny because I was in a, um, All American Printing, which does a lot of printing for me and stuff like that. And they had this new thing. You know how like Joe Biden, when you go to the gas station, it said, I did that. And there's a new one that says, I can fix that for, ah, the, for the gas station pumps. Get me some of them. And, um, <laughs> you want to know my opinion on this? What's the smart say? move for America's best interest is, is a Trump DeSantis ticket. It won't happen. I, but that, that would be the I agree smart. with Oh, my God. Yeah. That would be, yeah, I that like would DeSantis. be something. Now, I, mean, I, do, I, I like the Santos yes. too. I think personally, I think Trump can't win. And I voted for Trump all four times, Both but of I don't think we should run together and we would take the, the party back. Right. I think so. But isn't DeSantis waiting to find out what Trump is going to do? It's Trump, he already he, announced, he announced he's, running. he's running. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa, well, that's great. I think if you want to do okay. what's best for America, run them both together. Yeah, right? I do yeah. that. Interesting. Then, then there won't be no more split vote. But I think, I think for some reason... Any Democrat that's watching our show now is like, fuck it, fuck them. They've already shot themselves <laughs> Listen, about I, 10 I, minutes I, ago I, when Danny started. Here, here's the thing that gets me fired <laughs> up, right? that show. This is a free country, but if I say something wrong about the Democratic Party, I'm the worst son of a bitch on the planet. Might okay? as well tell racial jokes. And it's jokes. ridiculous. It's ridiculous because I have an opinion. This is America. I can say that the president is lying to us because he is. Yeah. 
He said his kid died in Iraq. His kid died in a car accident. He said Stop he died it. of crack. That, not died in Iraq. No, I'm sorry. He died of cancer or something like that. He said he died in Iraq in a war. And we believe this shit. I mean, and how could how could we keep this going on? Crack in Iraq. It's That's craziness. Close. That's pretty close. Who? And I'm sorry, man. When we talk about politics, it fires me up. I don't care what the consequences yeah. are. And I shouldn't be scared in America no. that I'm going to lose my job because I have a different opinion than somebody else. It's ridiculous. It is. And I'm fed up with it. It is. At least we have the freedom to be able to think what we want to think. If, yes. In other countries... If you say some things like we said, we could be actually shot or yes. you know, executed. Travis, I think we have yeah. to move this guy over to the political junkies. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been on that show. This, guy, <laughs> this guy's going to be on like seven different podcasts. It's the Nikki Buzz Studio. <laughs> Dave, you guys take it over. Dave, it all comes to lies. But I, I love he, his honesty. It's 24-7 lies, diverse. and they live it. And then I see people at the mall with their mask on. Look at me. I'm this perfect citizen. I have a mask on. Get, what are you doing? You're, you look like a fool. You're driving in your car with a plastic mask on and a shield and oh, everything else. No, by, it's by, ridiculous. By yourself. Huh? By themselves. Yes, by themselves in their car. Look at me. I'm a liberal. I'm I, driving in my car. I saw a guy the other day. He had a mask on. He also had a condom my on. My God. <laughs> At the same time, we had a condom and a mask. How, he was driving. He's very, he was very safe. Seriously, I know we're what not getting of, this show, so what, I don't care anymore. What kind of I car? I swear to God, when you sent me that email today, knowing I'm not getting this reality show, I don't right. even care anymore. What I kind of car the, was I don't he care. in? A glass car? How did you see a condom on No, I on looked him? over. He had a condom on, and he had a mask on. What the fuck? This you is me. If you don't like it, he wanted you ain't to make sure he, was, he wanted to make sure he was fully protected as he was driving. <laughs> By the way, um, I always told you the problem solver show will always continue. So you keep on, you keep on trucking at it. Listen, I don't care I if it. I get canceled. I don't care because that's the truth. People got to stand up. Well, from the, from well the it's too problem bad. Solver. It's too bad, Danny. That well, you have a girlfriend because you know. I mean, uh, you know, there's another show, marrying millions coming out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be my boyfriend. I'm not a millionaire at all. Well, no, no, no yeah. I need someone poor. Oh, okay, I'm poor. Uh, <laughs> poor. Actually, I'm, the, I'm the millionaire. What's the definition of poor? Obviously, he's never watched it. He doesn't I watched one episode of it. Oh, I did. I watched just going episode. off your of intelligence. That's all he was going off I watched one, an episode. I, and I'm sorry for getting fired up, but it no, fires no, no, me. No, I love it. I love it. I love that you speak the truth. You speak in America. I like it. Well, uh, the Democrats won't believe me today because they don't understand okay. the truth. They only understand lies. So, so it's going to be hard for them to so here's understand the, question. the truth. Since all of us like carry firearms and we're pro-gun to protect ourselves in America, my question to you is, since we're in Vegas, mm -hmm. we talked about last time Vegas, the Strip, less cops on the Strip in general. I did actually meet with a private security company that was on the show before, and they felt like things on the Strip were just off the hook. The other day I was driving by the Bellagio, so people like kind of fighting. There's no police around. A few weeks ago, there was Metro cars with lights on. Sometimes you would see an officer inside the car. Sometimes I don't know where the hell they were. Mm -hmm. Normally in New York City, if you had the lights on, the cop would be nearby. But some of the cops I also see were sitting in the car, which doesn't help, because they need to be on a foot post, even if you leave the car out there with lights, for prevention-wise. Question for you, what's your take on the strip in regards to, you had the murder that took place, what's your take on uh, the violence in Vegas and on the strip? I think that it's not um, <clears throat> limited just to the strip. I think uh, somebody probably don't like me saying this, but Metro's at 60% capacity. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, wow. um, of course, crime's going to go up. Uh, the way they prioritize calls, um, uh, went in with, uh, you know, a girl there to file a police report, and they literally are there to, they're like gatekeepers, trying to get people not to pursue something. Well, should you handle it this way or handle it that way? Like, they don't want to take it in. I get you. They're trying to, you know, go away or... Find a reason not to take somebody's complaint. Mm -hmm. um, the, re the the response times. Um, well, there's a different number, right? That's different from nine one one, isn't there? When, they when won't answer three one one anymore. It, oh, really? They're non emergency line. Forget it. It's going to ring forever. Oh. So here's a question. I got sent to that endless loop by yes. 911. No, it is it is ago. horrible in Las Vegas when you call 311 because I started hit and run once. I called and like, oh, go to the police station. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's not even my car. I'm not even involved in it. I'm just a witness. Like, how do you mean? Now in Henderson, it's a little bit different because it's a smaller town in general like that. They will come out for 311. They're going to answer and it's more That's a, a different town. system. You asked yeah. me about Metro. Yeah, yeah, no, I do mm -hmm. agree. But here's a question for you. So what do you... F okay, I'm sorry. Backtrack. So I met with the private security company the other day. They mentioned how they wanted to get security guards, like another post certificate, you're familiar, out here there's post one, two, and three, and then basically another post certificate for security guards to basically have more police powers and to also be protected that if you basically are, um, if someone gets hurt. I don't think you should want that. 
Why are you saying that you need more? You want more? Well, why does the government uh, employ contractors? It's it's called plausible deniability, right? Now yeah. you have to be held to the same standards. Why was I a bounty hunter for six years? Because I could slap the shit out of somebody, and it didn't carry the same consequences as if I was a peace officer. Yeah. Mm. I like the freedom that security has to do things a little bit differently because you could take the gloves off a little bit and uh, deal with the problems based on the need. Um, I didn't like having my hands tied at all. So, so you don't believe like another post certificate or security above law enforcement or no, below? No, below, below like having some uh, help like, on the strip. Yeah. Having limited police powers. The, 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 no, I don't think if you describe it as limited police powers, uh, your limited police powers are citizens arrest. That's it. Um, I, I everything guess, else is the same. I think it's just a, a, a jerk me off title that it doesn't really carry any weight. You know what's mm -hmm. actually interesting in general, which I'm for actually, which I think it's easy to get on, that if you hurt a security officer while committing a crime, like there should be like an enhancement. No, I, I, I enjoy punching security guards to get out of line. I don't, <laughs> I don't want them to be like the postman. But besides that, besides your, your usual situation. Yeah, why are you trying to make them cops? No, I mean the whole point is because you because you at this well, what, maybe what if they weren't. Here's a question for you. So what do we do if Metro is sixty percent occupancy and you have forty percent depletion and there's a high violence crime taking place? First of all, self defense. What do you do? Is your your best defense? Okay, so everybody if, needs to protect themselves. Why are they at sixty percent? The question. People don't want to because become cops. People don't want to be exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you just see what happened to the police recruits? A guy ran over twenty four cops that were police recruits and they let him out on fucking bail. They let him on fucking bail, and that's how this fucking Democrat party is. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. They so, let, how do you run over 25 fucking yeah, cops, and, and you're left out on fucking bail? Wow. It's ridiculous. And you wow. go to January 6th, yes. and you're locked up for months. Wow. And supposedly they uh, they said there was not enough. I don't say they said there's not enough evidence. I mean, you drive into a bunch of cops. Really? Like, Look at the tire evidence? marks on their face. Wow. How about the guy that ran everybody over in the parade last year in Wisconsin, right? Oh, no, he, didn't, he wasn't a Democrat. No, he wasn't a Democrat. Not at all. Just ran over everybody in the parade. So the bottom line is this. The violence is taking place, whether locally here or on the Strip. I guess we always talk about the Strip because it's Vegas and tourism. Mm -hmm. Things are unsafe. And so what do you do? It basically you, met you, you raise police. the prices back up to what they were pre-COVID. The, the Strip didn't go to shit until they, they oh, reopened the and they were charging like 20 bucks a night. And then all of a sudden the people that can't ever afford it. Yeah. They, they, they came, come to Vegas right. and they started tearing shit up. But but it's no, it's Good higher point. now though. It's not this. No, it's not low. You can, I mean, but you're building a habit. Are you no, opened it up? You're now you more, can't go backwards. You're saying you're making it more yeah, expensive. They, but no, it is expensive. I'm saying it's it back to being expensive. Maybe a few months after they opened back up, yeah, they were trying to yeah, get everyone here. Yeah, well, then here. you have a lack of policing, and then yeah. the casinos, uh, their securities are focused inside, right? More than they are outside, and. Then you have just a general lack of uh, yeah. people giving a shit. So, right, right. Um, it's still self defense always comes down to the individual. So, long story short, if everyone's getting firearms, pro firearms, protecting yourselves, I mean, honestly, I do believe. I, I, I said this all the time. Not ago. pro firearms. I think I'm pro prepare that person right. for prevention. That's why my seminars are such a different. I'm not in there about telling confidence get a gun, get a gun, get a gun, because I believe that of a person who doesn't have self-confidence that gun is going to work against them no, i agree with that what sucks is that, you know we might be going back to the wild wild west here i mean police force is low no one wants to be a cop anymore you and know, the cops you know. don't want to do their job either yeah no because yeah. they're afraid to do their job right, exactly do you know what happened at the airport when that that sign dropped and everybody freaked out they thought there was a shooting do you know the tsa went home oh really they got in their cars and went home you know, I'll share one thing. When I was a wow. cop, when I was a cop um, in Henderson, um, there was there was a few times where there's. I always say, and most people don't realize this, but with administration, and I'm not saying I was perfect in every way whatsoever, but and I'm sure Danny, you know, can can agree with this. In every different agency, there's always politics, mm -hmm. and when things happen to you, like you don't want to lose your pension, you don't want to lose your job, so you say to yourself, you dress up like Superman. And you want to do your job, but if you have some issues, you have enough issues, you're going to wind up losing your job. Right. And every police department is different. Like in New York City, NYPD was different. There was a union. It was stronger. 
But out here, like, it's just easier just to lose your job for a few different things. Right. And if people dislike you, like in most places, just, you could become a target. And I know a lot of different cops that were really good cops, even supervisors and so on, sergeants, lieutenants, and they were a target because maybe they got a little bit political or they were involved mm -hmm. in the union or they, they were becoming a little bit more power. Mm -hmm. And then they went after them. And it's so easy to open up a policy book to say you broke policy in every way. If, you, if you're a cop and you're not moving around every minute, you could say mm. he's, he's not patrolling. He's not being, you know, active. So there were times that I would say to myself, like, even though I was upset, like, I felt bad. Like, if I was a cop and dressed in uniform, I'm not going to go out to do things. Just being responsive by calling 911, I just felt bad. But things were changing, you know, with cameras and politics. Mm -hmm. And in the city of Henderson, I'm not sure if you follow it right now, there's a, a vote of lack of confidence, no confidence, in the chief, right. where the police union from the Henderson Police Union for the wow. officers and the supervisors basically went to the city hall and said, hey, we don't believe this chief and they're changing the policy where basically um, the use of force where it's probably more liberal and the whole woke policy situation <laughs> and then and then the cops that can't gets do their cop job. killed man yep and that's what they're saying so that just happened a week ago I'm not sure if you followed that in Henderson but and actually it's funny I've heard people always talk, talk about like there's no confidence mm -hmm. I've never seen it but it happened a week ago in the city city of Henderson yeah. um, the council chambers where they went there and stuff like that but anyway so besides getting people trained in regards to confidence and taking CCW class and preparing themselves for prevention Cops basically are down nationwide, mm -hmm. especially here in Vegas. I do see the strip. There's less cops in general, and I don't think people want the job, even if you raise it more money in general. Money won't so do be, it. It'll be, nope. it. It'll be interesting to see this new sheriff that you know that comes in, which he seems, yeah. um, he seems like a nice guy. I met with him. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the new sheriff? Like, I well, say, I hope we, that we can work Cahill. together with the Concealed Carriers Union and... and uh, you know, get on the same page because he seems like a nice guy. I mean, I met with him. I mean, I'm not sure if it's just politics where I'm just hearing some nice things that he's saying, but I mean, he did speak well when I met with him. Some people for him, against him, like anybody else in general. But mm -hmm. he says he knows how to run Metro and he, that he's going to do a good job doing it. I hope he does. Uh, uh, if he's listening to this, we definitely don't want to carry said he on. Come a, on the show as well. A when bad tradition. You know? Who is it? What's his name? Kevin it, McMahill. Okay. Yeah. So he, I'm a nice guy. I met his wife, who's you know, and actually yeah. his son's a cop as well. Metro, a new cop as well. So he's working the street. So. If anything, you know, you would think, especially if your son is a cop in the street, that it's going to affect your son as well if you change policy yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I would never get into politics because, you know, you're going to have to prove yourself. And then people are hyper-focusing on you, you know, when you're in that position. I mean, people I, do that I, already. I, I wanted to run for <coughs> politics. I you did. do? I still might. Do it. I, I still might because Danny, do I, it. I, I, I'll tell you what, I don't, I'm not afraid of these yeah. people. I'm that's not afraid good. of them. They could say whatever they want to good. me and I'm going to come right back at them. Okay, good. And that's how you have to do. What happens is they get on you and you get, they get, they want you to be scared. Absolutely. You're this, you're that, you're this. Oh yeah, my God. You flinch, they yes. attack. Yeah. And yeah. they want that. To, and yeah. if you're not afraid of them, they don't know what to do, John T. Okay. And, and, and I'm telling you, I'm really mad today because it's ruining the damn country. Yeah. It's ruining the damn country. It's time for everybody to stand the hell the fuck up and say, we're not, we've had a with this bullshit we had a way but i think a lot of people don't know or don't have well it's not that they don't have access to information they they just don't care because that would take you know uh finding out reading and following things i don't follow a lot of politics like you guys for the same reason i don't want to get you know angry at what's going on so for, for me at times i just kind of not turn a blind eye but i just kind of shut my you know Here, here's the, here's the problem that's going to happen in this country Juries. Could you imagine going in front of the jury, your peers, and you have 10 liberals on your jury? Mm -hmm. You're screwed. Especially if you're a cop. You are screwed. Because they look at a cop and say, he's the enemy. Yeah. You know why they think the cop's the enemy? Because the Biden administration told them the cops are the enemy. Mm -hmm. And that's why. And it's ridiculous that they would do that to our heroes. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry. I've been a cop for 27 years. I dedicated my life. Yeah. And the Biden's administration shit on me. Right. They shit on me and they shit on the other cops. And it's ridiculous. I don't care if I get canceled. I don't yeah. care if I ever talk on a podcast yeah. again. Yeah. I'm done. But but they're on their way out, right? You just got canceled. Travis just I don't give a <laughs> shit, Dave. I don't give a shit. I sat here for months now being quiet. Yeah. And I, I'm going to say how I feel anymore. I don't give a shit about reality shows. I don't give a shit about anything. Travis, Danny, Danny. escort Danny. this guy off the property and trespass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're on their way out, though, right? Isn't that a good thing? You Don't can you only be that? canceled if you let them. Yeah. It, it, it's it's ridiculous. We gotta take this podcast easy. We, you can't have a heart attack. You're getting older, please. But I need Dave, you to last. it's true. If you, it's coming I to the point. You. If you're not a liberal, they don't want you to even have a fucking job. Yeah. If you're not a liberal. And it's ridiculous. I, I, I don't will, believe one thing the liberals say. I will share Nothing. with you this. I mean, I always want to go for politics as well, but the truth is, it's kind of like just a thankless job, just like it was a cop. 
I mean, at least as a cop, you feel good at the end of the day doing yeah. your job and helping people. But the truth is, even running for politics at the end, it's just such a game. And it, it just, in the long run, you're not going to win. There's just too well, much. Well, it depends on. I um, mean, this is sad to it say. It depends I mean, on what your side you're on. If you really on, can fight, you, you want what you're saying? Yeah. I think it's, no, I'm, I'm just a, saying. Like DeSantis is doing well. I don't know if it's just because, you know, what state okay. he's in and how he's doing, but. So I not think, everyone's doing that well. You know? Right, right, right. Uh, well, so, okay, look, I think people lose sight, you know, after after getting elected or, or, or maybe they have a good heart and they're like, you know what, I'm going to go into politics to make a difference. I'm going to, you know, they're passionate like you, a lot of them, right? But once they get in that seat, all of a sudden there's a, they somewhat, they kind of change, right? Because a lot of people... Money changes. Money, it. exactly. Right. So you get into politics and now you have all these um, introductions to all these right people, right? And then, you know, it's all about money. And then they lose that vision well, a lot. Not everyone, obviously, because the ones that don't later on possibly I, I, get here's, killed. Here's too. my question to you. Because of okay. the passion. Our Congress gets paid like 100 grand a year. How the hell are they all millionaires? How the hell does Nancy Pelosi have $190 million in a bank? Because it's damn corruption. It's connections. I mean, and we just, yeah. we just yeah. ignore it. We yeah. blind eye to it that all our politicians are the 1%. And, and we, we're a blind mm-hmm. eye to it. Mm-hmm. Why are they the 1%? Because they're corrupt. Let's, 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 let's just call it out. But that's why they get into politics. It's the connections that they make to make well, more money. Well, that's why they say that you shouldn't be able to, like, if you're a politician, you shouldn't be able to be trading because it's like inside Nancy trading. Nancy Pelosi is a millionaire be. because of it. Well, you yeah. should be, but obviously, I mean, we, we work the same way in, in our normal everyday life, right? Depending on who we know, we use those connections, don't we? To advance ourselves. Are you ourselves? justifying? The, the, we're not trying to. <laughs> I'm not justifying. To, I'm, to just, to I'm just. Serve trying. the people I'm and saying, then yeah. ourselves she's at the same I, I, time. What she's saying is in their network. Like they're, yeah, that's their network. Like that's network. different. Yeah. You do yeah. that yeah. after yeah. you I'm leave. I'm not justifying it. I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm not saying it's right. Listen, I'm not saying yeah. it's right. I'm telling you, you're going to get heat over this podcast. You are. Because the liberals are going to watch this and going to say, he's out of control. Look at him. I'm scared of him. Oh, my God. And the other guy's talking about guns. We're scared of guns. Where's my safe space? Is there a safe space? I Dave, can run too. Dave, you would just have less God, views. I can't stand more, more weakness views. and lies. Or weakness more views. and lies. I we hate it. We have to find someone else. More views. God. All right, listen, moving forward. Um, Dave, I don't want Dave, we a have lot to, of we passion have to, today. We have to pace Dave. Right, one have to last pace thing. Passion. One last thing, and then we'll move on. This is what got me fired up before I came to the show. I did uh, a TikTok about the murders that happened in Idaho. Did you, did you see that? Yeah. Three college students stabbed at death. Okay. They can't find who the suspect is. So my TikTok was. They can't find the suspect, so what they're if they did have a suspect, they would look for like if he had traffic warrants on him just to bring him in. Yeah. Anything they could get on him just to bring him in if they had a suspect, because he's dangerous. I said, so my take is they don't have one because they don't they're not looking for something to get him in. Right? right, right. Some liberal goes on there and says, you know what the scary part of this whole thing is? That a cop could look for dirt on you. That's the most scary part. Well, don't have dirt and the cop won't find dirt. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, exact, exactly. I, I, I'm don't so have sick dirt. of it. Yeah. I We're not scary cops. We're here to help you, okay? Right. And you'll be the first one to call because you're scared. Right. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Did, today is the end of it for me today. I did. Um, <laughs> I, I am. I'm no, sick of it. It's okay. I, I, I wish more people were sick of it, Danny. I, I'm sick of it. And, and when we lost this election coming up, I'm thinking, how do you vote for a Democrat after all this? They lied to you constantly, but yet you're still doing it. I, I, I just I can't believe it. Brainwashing, still, honey. People That's are what still it's voting called. right now. Did you know that? People still go to charter <laughs> games, too. And, and, and doesn't mean it's any good. And, All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that when I live in right. Vegas. Now. You're going to have to look. <laughs> Poor Hutch is going to take my spot now. But that's the only reason they. And I don't care. I don't. I don't, them, I don't care. If yeah. any you don't want me, mm-hmm. I don't care. Okay, we love Danny. I am who I am. We maybe, want you, Danny. And I'm sick of not being who I am because of the show. Danny, I'm we, done with. We, we want always, you, honey. We always told you to be part. No one said I am. To be. If anybody, this I mean, is who I am. This is what you're I've getting every t- week. We want you, that. Danny. We want you. Don't John worry. T- I've been telling yes. this guy to be himself since day one. This yeah. is me. He always says, I like it. It's good. This there's is nothing, me. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. I'm going to call people out on their lies. I don't like lies. And it's constant lies. So... I, I forgot what I was going to say. Maybe it should be DeSantis and Minor. DeSantis and Minor. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, that would be. Oh, that would be my God. They would go amazing. after me. Oh, my God. They, they would try to cancel me. Okay. Oh, my God. So they're going to find all that dirt in you. You know, they're going to oh, look yeah. in your back. What kind of I don't dirt? really have dirt. If you slept you with don't? a sheep or something like that in, in the Pennsylvania or something like that. <laughs> no, that's what they'd accuse <laughs> so, me sorry, of. Yeah. They have sheep in Pennsylvania? <laughs> Actually, I don't know why I said sheep, but deer. Like, if you slept with a deer, they would find out. Like, one of his old co workers, like, remember back How do they point you out? He slept with his reindeer. 
and it was like Christmas Eve, and he dressed it up, and he put lipstick on it. If there's a video. Right? All yeah. right, listen. Let's go back to Idaho. Give us the update. I saw your TikTok in general, which I liked, um, and then I wanted to give you some update in regards to reward money that um, oh, no, our reward. sponsors. Here we, here we go. go. Right. Now you're going to really stress me out. I see. He's always giving reward money. <laughs> uh, we've actually had... Yeah. I, I'm not, I don't want to bring it up on this show, because it's going to be another show to talk about, but we had... This week, I'll just share with you real quickly. <laughs> we had two, uh, there's, there's two cases that I dealt with this week where one, there was a hit and run case mm -hmm. and the guy basically got arrested. There was a Crime Stopper tip and the guy, be, the guy basically um, was arrested. He pled guilty and there's a conviction basically, uh, I'm sorry, a sentencing on December 12th and there was reward money. I don't want to get into it because I don't want to steal any thunder uh, for the other attorney that was involved in it, but it was behind the scenes of the problem solver. We mentioned reward money because yeah. we feel that it's like crime prevention. This is the first time, so it, it was a ten thousand dollar reward wow. that is going to be issued out, and it's going to be very interesting because this particular attorney wants to give reward money to basically prevent DUIs and deaths and so on, and he's going to do like a press release um, on the on the on the steps of the courthouse, mm -hmm. and we have the. The woman that basically the mother who have, you know the, the mm. deceased son, and then we have the Crime Stopper tipster that tips and she has no problem coming out and speaking. So it'll be very very interesting. This is the first time that, that we've is. done That's that. That's good. And it was it was a ten thousand dollar reward, and then we have someone else who was, um, crazy hit and run hit and run situation. Uh, well, DUI with substantial death. The person died, but both were kids. Mm. So I've never actually had this in one week where two young kids have died, because, but, both, but both guys are in custody. Okay. And one because of the reward money and one oh. because the guy you know, stayed at the scene. That's but great. like I said, I've not really dealt with that in a long time where two young kids have died, which makes me scared. I mean, one was just walking the street and then mm. one was the, a stolen car, which was like a habitual criminal. Um, so anyway, yeah. that was something I've been dealing with all, all week, which is kind of sad because the guy started talking about like cremating his, you know, the cremation of his child. He started crying. It was very upsetting. Mm. And, you know, we all, we have kids and stuff like that. You know, I mean, this could happen to any of us just walking the street. You know, he mm -hmm. was walking at the target with his son. Mm -hmm. So long story short, my question to you is this. Tell us about, um, Moscow. Cause I didn't know about the dog situation until you mentioned on TikTok. So just give a recap real quickly I, about what's going on. Cause actually Nephi has been busy. So just <laughs> recap what took place. And people don't know the whole story. I'm sorry for being no, no, out of control don't, today. Don't, don't apologize. Listen, I don't, don't apologize. care anymore. Yeah. I, I'm sick yeah. of shutting my mouth. Yeah. Cause I'm afraid to get canceled. I'm done with that. Cause I'm giving them what they want. I'm giving them what <laughs> they want if they this shut me up. This guy needs to shut this canceled. I'm, I'm sorry. You're, I, you're not getting canceled. You're okay. Don't worry. Do you want to bet? Do you want to bet this just did it in? No. I'll bet you did. But I don't give a shit. No. But here's the other thing, all right? Because I don't give a shit. Well, let's this go back being, to sex. This is right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is being authentic. Okay. What happened was there's four college students, right? They go back to their house after. Okay, I think they were out drinking. They went to, and just like we did when we were kids, you drank to two o'clock in the morning, then you went and got ate something. They ate at um, a food truck, went back to their house. All four were stabbed to death in their sleep. Mm -hmm. There was two other individuals in the house, but they were upstairs. The killer never got to them. They didn't hear the killings. So they wake up the next day, call the police. Four, like, young kids in their 20s, mm -hmm. okay, college students, two yeah. girls, two boys, I believe. Yeah. Uh, no suspects. They have no idea who did this. Not, kind of like a scary movie, okay. okay? Now they found a dog that was skinned to death and hung in what? that same vicinity. What? A dog was skinned to death. Not their dog, though. You know how they do it? Hunters would Doesn't skin a deer. No matter what dog it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't their dog. It was okay. a dog in the neighborhood. They skinned it to death and left it there. <coughs> now, I believe that they don't have a suspect. Or they would have arrested somebody by now. No, I but that you're, I'd be looking into animal abuse, yep. citations. I'd be... Uh, those kind of people always have a, a history of it somewhere. You think it's connected, though? Yeah. The, the police brought it up, so I think it's connected. Yeah. Okay. The, uh. It's a rare person uh, that would do that to an animal. And then you have some... That's like a serial killer type yeah. of yeah. thing, yeah. That's, right? that's some Jeffrey Just Dahmer like the shit. Killer. They cleared the roommates that were there, though. Mm. The cops said they had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Okay, so it was definitely... It's like a scary movie. And honestly, uh, for you too, and you, you might know because you have a little bit of law enforcement with, with the CCW, but most people know the person that killed them. Uh, yes, most usually, homicides yeah. are, you know the person that killed you 95% yeah. of the time. The guy yeah. hiding in the bushes usually don't happen. Right. But it sounds like this might be a guy hiding in the bushes. Mm, I mean, yeah. it, it, it's crazy. I don't it's know. scary. They, they always, you never know. There, there's always a reason. Just because we don't yeah. understand it doesn't mean they don't have a reason. Mm -hmm. The same thing like that shooting here in Vegas. They still don't know why that guy did that. So they said. We don't want to get on that. But they okay. Have, That's another one? But they yeah, probably have I don't to, think he shot anyone. But, but, but they probably have I, to be careful what they put out into the public innings, right? Because the investigation is still going on. 
Well, that's right? true. So I the, agree with you. So yeah. let's just recap in regards to my little my limited knowledge. So between two a.m. and like um, I six. think it's six a.m. Two, two to six a.m. Mm -hmm. They're looking for video surveillance in the area, and um, one of the things that we wanted to do was uh, originally when we started getting involved in like doing some reward money for the that was a serial horse killer and then identify the bodies at Lake Mead and stuff like that. We came up with something called Las Vegas Crime Solvers that we wanted to do. And then it kind of got modified to Sin City Crime Solvers because of Sin City in general. But then recently, you know, Danny's been great. He's very vocal, which I love. I, I don't want Danny to ever change mm -hmm. in regards to that's why I love him so much in regards to being vocal. That's the reason why I asked him to come on the show originally. He's gotten more vocal, which is great because you speak the truth. There's nothing wrong with what you say. And it's your opinion. It's, it's what I want. But um, we, they don't want us to have opinions. So <laughs> I want you to have your opinion. So there you go. That's what you have to be concerned about here, the Problem Solver Show. So one of the things that we came up with was the crime solver concept for more nationwide, and this crime stop is all throughout the U.S., but basically what I wanted to do is one of our sponsors, which is Las Vegas Legal Network, wanted to offer some reward money to this particular situation because it seems mm -hmm. like it's kind of just getting out of hand that they don't know who the suspect is, mm -hmm. that basically they would offer a $2,000 reward for any information that would lead to the arrest and conviction of the killer in uh, Moscow, Moscow, Idaho. And um, so $2,000 reward basically would be out there from the Las Vegas legal network just to help out in general. There is most likely reward money out in Idaho as well through Idaho Crime Stoppers. Mm -hmm. I know there wasn't a specific amount, but there's always reward money through these Crime Stopper programs. So it's the one thing the Las Vegas legal network. So maybe the lead that takes the police over the top, right? Do you want them to put, do you want them to go to our website? Yeah, so if you can go, so we're going to have it set up basically where it's thecrimesolver.com. Okay. And they'll go directly to a link where they can fill it in tip information. They can remain anonymous as well. All right. And then basically any tip that basically leads to the arrest and the conviction of this killer $2, would be $2,000 as reward money. And then, um, I mean, we can only hope that a little bit of money can help the situation. Though, like I said, I'm not, I, I don't, I didn't see a specific amount from you know Crime idaho mm -hmm. right but at least it's something that we can do from the show and one of our sponsors okay so and then sure. you i know that you're on TikTok and you have he's got over like almost he'll be at, at yeah, hundred thousand views so at least people can Congrats. see you got to stir it up right the more people that hear these things you never know but it does concern me again whether it's the dog that was being scanned or these four people it sounds like a crazy movie you know and the hard to is, find two sickos that close to each other or not but the crazy right. thing about it is the last murder that they had in that town i think was like seven years ago so mm -hmm. it's still a quiet town it's college students and then the other thing I'm concerned about is that there could be some other crazy person that is in another college town in another state or city mm -hmm. that wants to, you know, be a copycat, which is one of the problems mm -hmm. we have in America, that people want to copycat things as well. Absolutely. Anything else that you want to add about that one? No. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I'm good. All right. Any other thoughts in regards to uh, hunting down a serial um, killer? I mean, I really feel like it's a forensic I feel like it is case. Too. You know, it's not... Uh, they're, they're going to have to look for DNA evidence, and they're going to have to look for patterns of people with animal um, mm -hmm. abuse or previous history. In previous history. You'll find or that self, down, uh, self, down to when they were young. Self-inflicting uh, wounds that they do uh, themselves? Or? Well, historically, animals. people that have been uh, serial killers have had a, uh, animal abuse. They started past. with animals, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We yep. talked about that with the serial horse killer they up here in, in Red Rock because yeah. we were afraid that they were going to you know, maybe hurt people. But I will say Did the they one find him? after the, we the I'm horse not killer. Saying, I'm not saying it's our reward money or anything yeah. whatsoever, but it has stopped. That particular killer has stopped with the okay. horses up in Red Rock. Maybe like he was I getting said, too much heat. Do who knows? I mean, you really don't know. But okay, I mean, but he's not caught. Obviously, yeah, he's not, he's not okay. been caught. But at least that the yeah. horses have been stopped killing. I know in another area in Nevada, there was another person that was out there, but it was very mm. far up north. I mean, look, there's a lot of crazy individuals out there. That's what concerns me about this trip in general. Yeah. One last thing to ask you, Nephi. We talked about on the show last time that we wanted to walk the strip from Charleston all the way up to Tropicana, just me and Danny having a camera on us just to see what, what's going on, to see if there's crazy people, mentally unstable, maybe even walk up to people and say, hey, how you doing? Can we help you? Sounds crazy. <laughs> the can we help me part the can we help part? <laughs> I guess it'd be interesting to go up to people and say like, hey, listen, you know, we're with the Problem Solver, which sounds funny, Problem Solver TV show, and we're trying to help people. How can we help you? It'd be very interesting to see what they say. They're all going to ask for money. That's what I said. So besides mm -hmm. money, like you need a place to uh, stay, uh, <laughs> have resources. It's all about money. You're gonna, mean, that's not how you find It's very interesting. The Mormon church has a temple square. It says, please don't give to the... The beggars. The beggars. They mm -hmm. don't say that. I think they have yeah. a nicer word. I don't know yeah. those nicer words, so I forgot it. <laughs> right, right. Um, 
panhandlers. But it says here's the channels to donate to organizations that do support it, mm -hmm. so that you, it really eliminates a lot of the problems. Um, you know, people being bothered and accosted, and of course they usually pick on the more vulnerable people to say, "Hey, loan mm -hmm. me five dollars, old lady." You know, right. it stops it there because no, they know nobody's going to say yes. Yeah. I think it's going to be interesting. I, I, I just feel, my gut feeling is it's very interesting for me and Danny to walk the ship to just to see what we encounter yeah, you know, you during December 1st to like December 15th. We'll do one, two days. and just I hope you're packing. Street. No. If, just do if showgirls are getting stabbed, I think you guys. <laughs> They're going to get raped. Maybe we'll have you behind us. Like we'll have a, no. A no. Or right. we'll have a Dr. G. Dr. G can help you. Oh, God. We're, yeah. I'd like to be behind her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last thing that I have for you is uh, Nephi. In regards to you, tell me, Nephi, so what are the things that you do um, with the Problem Solver Show recently that we've given you some different problems that sometimes that, you know, the Problem Solver Show can't handle, <laughs> and you're able to fix some problems and help people with certain resources that you have. What is, you know, when I bring it up to certain people, what is a fixer? What does a fixer do? A fixer is a person who has... Uh, fairly wide and deep connections uh, within either political or business um, that can pull strings and get things done that normally can't get done. It's okay. a connected person who uh, sometimes does it for a fee. Okay. So um, a lot of the cases that you've sent me have had to do with squatters and uh, you know people screwing over other people. I had a cyber criminal you sent me to. I had two squatters. <clears throat> um, finding, um, because at the end of the day, the system doesn't work. Like I literally, whenever I call mm -hmm. the police, it's to cover my ass. That's it. I don't expect them to come. I don't expect them to do anything. It's just, I want to document it in case I put a bullet in somebody. At least there's some, some pre-story to what, you know, might have led to that, that to explain why and support my you know, argument or my defense. Mm -hmm. um, but especially when it comes to evictions, they know how to play this system so bad. And you get these professional yes. squatters that know how to run the system or staying in a property for a year or more. And if you're the property owner and you're paying for somebody else to live for a year, that you could go under in a couple of months. Easy. Yeah. And they're just allowing it. Like one of the cases I'm working on, they can't get until uh, in April. It seems like April's the new day, which is crazy because I think what they do is this goes back to politics is that you have Thanksgiving and Christmas, so nobody wants to put someone out for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. They don't want to put someone out for Christmas. Then they don't want to put someone out for New Year's. And then the bottom line is now you look at the court date of April and May, and mm -hmm. if someone has a mortgage payment of $3,000 a month, you're at $20,000, mm -hmm. and the court system's not and helping. They're not even back. a relative. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so just the no, system's they, definitely messed up, and a lot of realtors have been calling me since um, I do communicate with I a lot know. of realtors. Yeah, so there are ways to get rid of them. Uh, all of these cases, uh, whether it's self-defense or it's political ops or uh, any of these kind of fixer cases that you're sending me, um, it's cost-benefit analysis. And so the problem is, is that... Uh, these individuals stand to gain far more from staying there and working the system than they do by getting thrown out. So you have to flip that over. I'll, I'll give you an example for the last one that we, we wrapped up because I got the squatters out and I got her out of the lease because uh, she just was done with the place and didn't want to be there anymore. Uh, they were squatting there for four months and I went in on a Friday and saw that he has a Harley Davidson which is probably his pride and joy. Mm -hmm. so put five locks on the brake pads around mm. the front wheel, those uh, storage locks. Mm. And he comes out and he says, man, how are you going to lock up on my stuff like that? And I said, well, how are you going to lock up on her, on her apartment like that? Mm -hmm. I said, tell you what, next time I come out here, I'm going to hook a chain up to your Harley and I'm going to tie the other end to a pickup truck. I'm going to drag it down the street. Mm -hmm. Get out. Wow. And they left that Monday. So it's, the courts don't scare them. Nothing else scares them. Um, you know, in the political ops I've done over the years, my, my goal has always been to capture someone's sleep. Mm. Wait, is this a service available now? Yeah. Uh, oh. through, you know, through, <laughs> through kind okay. of A-team connections. Okay, you know, cool. Okay, um, that's good to know. We do have our, our private investigations okay. firm opening in March. Awesome. Because um, I've been doing that kind of stuff since, like, 95. Amazing. Um, but... 
you have to cre- create that Im- uh, imbalance mm-hmm. in the cost benefit analysis. Mm-hmm. Like it's not worth it for me to stay because I don't want this to happen. Mm-hmm. You have to twist their arm like they're twisting yours. Exactly. And the courts aren't going to do it, no. the qu- especially if they're pushing it out six months. Look, what do you mean six months? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go bankrupt in six months mm-hmm. if I can't pay my mortgage. And that's, to me, that's stealing. He mm-hmm. hates uh, lying. I hate stealing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't mind st- putting the screws to somebody that is stealing from somebody. I've had people steal from me in my business before. Yeah. I don't even want to talk so about not, what Not a good feeling. Them. So you the know? bottom line is this, mm-hmm. is that a fixer type can fix it different ways, has different resources. As the problem solver to me, I, I feel like I have a lot of resources. But at a certain point in time, it's, it's really police yeah. or the fixer. Yeah. And the thing with it is, the system is messed up. I mean, it's yeah. just, it's it just getting worse. Whether we talk about politics in different yeah. ways, but the, the evictions and the courts and people taking care of the system, it's one thing if you really, really need it yes. and you need help, right? Yeah. But if you're taking advantage of the system and you're really playing the game, Absolutely. then that's where it's messed up. And then there's no recourse, recourse. for the person. They really become the victim. Is yep. the person that owns the home that's the good guy that's just looking to rent out their home as like an investment and they wind up taking a major, major hit. Mm-hmm. So, um, I you need appreciate. someone that can play that game better That's than, an so, than the amazing service. So yeah, I'm usual, in real estate, so as usual. So if anyone has a problem, the goal is to contact the problem solver show. Whether they have any type of problem, whether resources, someone called me today in regards to identity theft. I felt really bad. I explained to them about going to the police or FBI.gov, making a report, identity theft, um, calling the three different credit agencies, putting a fraud alert on their system, and. Um, you know, got very advanced with this person, but I mean, I spent like 15, 20 minutes. She asked me if I charge a fee. I said, no, we don't, we don't charge mm-hmm. a fee at the Problem Solver Show in regards to these different I things. I do. But like I said, if, if there's initial yeah. just giving resources like a cop sure. would do, you know, that's one of the things that myself and Danny would do is just give advice as, as we did all these years. Yeah, you know? that's and, true. That's nice. And the bottom line is that the woman was really, you know, thankful. And the funny thing is you would think like, why would a cop, not every cop has a lot of resources or a new cop would know all these things as well. So I did feel bad for that particular person today. And I say, hey, call me anytime if I could help out. But the bottom line is that we have different resources. We have the Las Vegas Legal Network. We have the Medical Network. We have um, Las Vegas Traffic Cameras. If someone gets into mm-hmm. that needs video camera footage, we have different realtors. We have mortgage yeah. agents. We have all kinds yeah. of different people. So not that you have to use the people, but if it's just education and getting information in general. There's a lot of uh, resources with old people, you know, so you youngins. Yeah, especially <laughs> not, most people don't know United Way has been around for like 17 years. You can call 211, which is uh, uh, United Way, that if someone needs help or charity, you know, there's Henderson, um, the Hope Link, you know, in Henderson, if you basically, mm-hmm. if you can't pay your rent, there's Catholic Charities. I mean, there's, there's a lot of programs out there, just people just don't know who to call. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Any other topics, because I think we hit everything we need in general, um, besides the politics. I think we covered a lot of different topics, reward money. We got to go back to the sex next week. <laughs> Did the politics. He's so, he's so stressed out, he needs a release. Yeah. So I mean, we have to next week, we got to go back. So um, any other, yeah. anything else you want to share this week, Jean-T? No. Anything I think going I'm, on with you? Anything happened this week? Uh, no. Any I mean, my dates? life is amazing. Yes, Any I hot do. dates that you want to share have, about? I have a few hot dates, yes. Okay. Yeah. We have to. We need a, G, we need a GPS. I, I could care less about your favor. hot dates. We need a GPS tracker on Dr. G, uh-uh. so we see where she's going. We have to set that no. up before she leaves. Let's set that up. Honestly, I like that name. We should yeah. keep that name, Dr. G. I, do. I kind of yeah. like that name. Perfect. So, I am you know, doctor. that's an important. I won't be on the show anymore. But you can sit here next week. Anal doctor. <laughs> Just kidding. You want to talk about the trackers? I'd say okay. that the part of uh, what everything is missing for a lot of these ops is the first thing I always do is map their network. And whether that's putting GPS trackers on vehicles, then you have a true idea of where they go every day. And, you know, a good month will tell you everybody's network. Right. And you map that out and then you pull the trackers off and now you know where to put pressure. And that's a lot of what getting that other side to flip over is knowing where to put that pressure. And you just keep applying it, applying it, applying it until it breaks. But is that illegal to put a tracker on someone? No. Really? If they don't know? If is they that, don't know, is that, is, that, is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's not, there's no law against uh, putting trackers on vehicles, but yeah. um, but, I mean, there's po- a small... but technically, the police need a warrant. I'm not police. Yeah. No, 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 I'm just saying. But police, yeah. the police need a warrant. Yeah. Police need a warrant. That's why it's not for good me to, be. to do it. I don't, uh, wh- whatever. Good luck finding my tracker. Uh, but that would okay. be harassment, stalking, probably. Good luck finding <laughs> out. Good. You luck. know, somebody has to play the game better. I than I need they to do. get some training from you. By the way, I want to share All one right. thing in regards to safety. 
You know, these new air Could tags. we put a tracker on Beige's car? Because we never know where she's at. I could, actually. <laughs> I, wanted to, I actually wanted to do that. I, I mean, that. she hasn't been here in two weeks. We so should do that, that and then watch her on the show. <laughs> yeah. Just watch, like, watch yeah. where she's going. We'll set that up. We'll set that up. I like that. <laughs> Listen. Wait, um, is she going to see this? <laughs> no. <laughs> One thing I'll share with you is this. For safety-wise, I saw this the other day. So you know how Apple has the air tags? Mm. Yeah. Mm. And that's yeah. GPS? Yeah, but that'll tell on you. What do you mean? It, you can't use those. It tells the other phone or it something. It tells right? the phone, hey, some tracker's yeah. following yes, you. Yes, it does. Oh, it does. It does. It tells their phone? Yes. Yeah, the person. They snitch on themselves. What you happens if you have an iPhone in that boxes, car and that yeah. thing's in the car, it'll tell your iPhone that's in the car. Oh. But here's my question. I've seen that some people put the air tags like in the children's like sneakers yeah, but and stuff the like kids, that. That's their kid. It's their yeah. kid. No, but that, so if someone, I was going to bring it up in regards to kidnapping. God forbid a child got kidnapped mm-hmm. and there's an air tag in the sneaker. That means that if someone pulls up their phone, they're going to be able to see the If AirTag? someone else was near it and yeah, it was iPhone, constantly yes. moving with them, it would uh, show an alert on their really? phone. Really? Yes. But yeah, not, you can't right. use them for that purpose. But that's not good then for the whole... The, I don't know why no, I say for that. No, you, the stuff I have is all pro gear. I mean, their box is about I wanted to bring it up for the fact that, that, that it was a good way in regards to preventing, like, kidnapping and putting or air even maybe your child. kid just You lost. can't use anything well, you get off the shelf. I, I got to look at the more of the air tech then. We have to figure it out. I just think it's a, it's a cheap... not good for tracking people that don't want to be tracked. Okay, but for your kids or something like that. Right. For or, your kids, is fine. Or pets, right? Okay, kids Danny, pets. anything else you want to share? Any other things happening? Well, let's get back... Nah, nah, I'm good. Anything you sure? Listen, yeah. since I want to say it was fun the last eight months on this show, but, you know, probably get canceled next week, but what that's all right. You, you know, you're so positive. Yeah. Don't let them amazing. Can- they, Danny, if they can't cancel me, you're good, bro. Listen, if I get canceled, my TikTok's going to go to 200,000 because I'm going to go right back to politics. Who's going to cancel what? Huh? What are you talking about? Who's canceling what? I'm telling it's you. It's a psyche. I'm the telling you. Who's, who's, someone's Listen, canceling this li- show? If liberals don't like the way you talk, they come after you. They come after you. You're I don't this, think you're that, you're close down anytime soon. Don't be afraid of them. Oh, okay. They God. don't know what to do when yes. you fight back. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, I appreciate Wait, I'm like you. I will fight. How are you gonna... I will sue people. I will fight. I will do okay. everything. I'm nuts. I was going to say that. How are you going to run for politics when you're afraid of them shutting down the show? I'm not afraid. I could care less. Nephi, when's the next CCW class? Uh, well, we do them four days a week, okay. uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sundays at 8 a.m. Um, there's more classes than I'm anybody. I'm going to have to take one. VegasCCW.com. And then next April, we'll do our next uh, big mass CCW event. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we're looking at a few more spots. Um, I'm going to be taking this show on the road soon. I like it. Um, I think that our the seminar format for CCW and uh, confidence building for self-defense is it's it's worthy of the big stage, uh, and next next year I'm doing my TEDx talk, okay, um, which is going to be on uh, how understanding animal behavior is the key to understanding violent criminals. You didn't get a chance, but you had to send this stuff to Danny at the John Tees so I could see because I thought it was pretty good what you sent. But the animal was, behavior? No, he did like an interview for a TED TED or TEDx TEDx mm-hmm. uh, to be like one of the you know a speaker. Oh, okay. And you have to send in like a. Uh, a reel or something? Yeah, sort yeah. of. A, each what he talk would talk is about. Specific, mm-hmm. but I've, I've, something so I belong, you should look into too. I belong to Thought Leaders, which represents about 200 uh, TED Talkers. And, um, send, we're going to send Danny information just as something that may be interested in doing in general. But I thought yours was really, was really good that you sent it. But anyway, <laughs> I appreciate your help. I appreciate you sharing some wisdom as usual. And uh, Dr. G, we thank we thank you for your medical expertise. Absolutely. And um, we haven't gotten your sex educational background to <laughs> the problem solving. Sure. Well, I keep <laughs> dropping my keys. <laughs> and uh, Danny, the perfect the, uh, position. Danny, the miracle, the crime solver. We appreciate his his um, enthusiasm, his freedom of speech, his enthusiasm. <laughs> I just passion. Wanna, I, his passion. I don't want him just to burst, you know, um, uh, a blood vessel because I want the guy to stay on the show. You know, I, I don't want this guy to have a heart attack. So, uh-huh. but we, I do appreciate you being on. I've always told you to be yourself. No, but, nothing's being canceled. Well, listen, yet. honestly, I wouldn't act it if I didn't get that text message from you today. <laughs> when I get that text message, we'll I have, thought, this is done. We'll have so to I'll, I'll just go on and show. do it. I'm going to start acting no, like all, myself again. All, all we'll find said, out after the show. Yeah, we'll talk about what the happened. Show. Okay. It's not yeah, a good deal. I, I think it's fine. Okay. Just, okay. Things take time with the sure. uh, television Absol- world. In general. Absolutely. I know. But we have the problem solving show. It's not going away anytime soon. As long as they keep paying the sticky paws, um, the light bill, and the engineer here, and we have to feed people here. <laughs> that, well, the show continues. The Problem yeah. Solver Show continues with Danny Miner, The Miracle, Dr. G, and Nephi. We appreciate everybody listening this week. Please be safe out there. Go get a gun. Go protect yourself. <laughs> Pepper spray. Get involved in politics. And uh, be careful out there because things are changing. We'll see you next week. I'm Dave Comar, The Problem Solver. Be careful.